Hey guys, Joey Boom here again. I'm trying to commune a little bit with the outdoors. This is the last installment of this series of exercises and one that is as equally as important as the exercises themselves. And that is what a lot of people don't even think about or talk about is proper stretching. You know, you're doing all these warm-up exercises and playing and getting through all this stuff so you're really clean. But meanwhile, you need to do proper stretching just like any athlete who is utilizing their muscles for their optimum performance. So I'm gonna show you a series of exercises that I consulted with professionals, physical therapists who do it for a living and have done it for quite some time to get the optimum and most efficient, but what's really most important, the safest stretches you could do for the muscles that you'll be using. The first one will be holding the sticks this way, one palm up, the other palm down. The palm that is up, you will bring towards your chin. The grip on the palm down hand will be loose so that the sticks can spin inside. This one will hold on to the sticks so that they do not spin. Bring it towards your chin, underneath, around, straighten your elbow, and then gently pull towards the palm hand down and hold that. Ah, oh, that feels so, so good. No bouncing, no rocking, gentle. And when you go to release, gently release. You then reverse your palms, this palm down, this palm up. Again, this grip will be loose. This will be somewhat tighter towards your chin. In, out, straight arm, and gently pull. Ah, oh, that just feels fabulous. And hold, gently hold. And then, gently release. It is suggested that you do these in between the quintuplet exercise and the 1630 second note exercise. This is going to get you where you need to be quickly, safely, and efficiently. Then the next is sticks around your back, hold on to them. Elbows straight down, chest out. Try to bring your shoulder blades together. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. And then gently straight forward. Put your neck down. Mm, and push upwards. This will straighten and stretch your upper arms and shoulders. You can do a little uh, side to side for your trunk. And then while pushing down and maintaining a beautiful straight posture, rotation in both directions, hold, and then rotate, gently rotate. Oh, and then release again back to forward position. So the idea is you want to go through the series of exercises, for instance, the quintuplet or quintaplet, which is flam taps on the groupings of fives. One, two, three, four, five, 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 one. You want to press that right away. And then when, ah, when you start to feel fatigue, immediately, ah, do a stretch. Mm. You might even hear a little bit of uh, snap, crackle, and pop. Always gently, gently, gently. <sighs> none of this, none of yanking. And it's none of that. We need to be gentle and stretching. 
because they're going to stretch more and more and more as the blood begins to flow better. Then you can either go back to that quintuplet exercise putting it to the one side or the other or then right to the 16th 30 second note. And then, ah, when you feel the fatigue, immediately, oh, go for the stretch. And even though you're going through the exercises quickly, do not rush the stretches. It's vital for you to stay healthy and do this the safest way that you can. I will guarantee you, when you do three or four of these exercise stretches exercise stretches you will immediately begin to feel the difference of being able to play quickly but in a beautiful relaxed manner and if i may put an addendum to something that my buddy tommy igo talked about is there's a lot of information out on the internet a lot of it a lot of it is good a lot of it is not good anything that Tommy has to say he's got the experience and the years of education and educating and performing to back it up. I myself as well have been teaching for a long, long time, all ages, especially young people. And one of the most important things is to be able to communicate with all types of people. Those of you out there who are completely hip and understand and are students of rudiments, those who can read written notation, those of you who cannot, you would, should need to be able to communicate to each one of these people so that the end results are exactly the same. If you have any questions about the earlier uh, episodes that I did, you can hit me at joeyboom.com. You can hit me here at Instagram, joeyboom1, or of course, Joe Meckler, M-E-K-L-E-R, on Facebook. Enjoy the exercises. Please do the stretches. Your body will thank you for it. Bye for now.